Don't give up the fight. Thank you very much, Comrade Bab. Good night, Chaka Hall. Good night, Fustick. Good night, Broomfield, Maycourt. I know St. Lucie, you know, from next door. And I understand that there are some former Dems in the audience, and we are happy to have you. You have seen the light, and you are following that light. Welcome to the promised land. Welcome to the Labour Party. And I, I want to join with Danny as one who can honestly tell you, welcome to the north of Barbados. I have a very personal interest in this fight in St. Lucie. Very personal. My wife is from Chaka Hall, right here. I have in laws all around here. I met my wife in St. Lucie. And some of you know that. But a lot of you don't know that my father met his wife in St. Lucie. I have a love affair with St. Lucie. And so I have a very personal interest in seeing Peter Phillips being elected as the member of parliament the real, real representative for the constituency of St. Lucie. You know, I really want you, the people of St. Lucie, to vote for Peter Phillips so that we together can walk up the steps of parliament and do the business of rescuing, rebuilding Barbados. The Dems, aided and abetted by Dennis Kelman, I think Peter Phillips calls him Mick Kelly or something like that, they have presided over the destruction of Barbados. St. Lucy has sent this man for more than 20 years as their representative, as your representative. And I know a lot of you are not proud about how he is performing as your representative. He has promised you an airport. He promised you an airport. You got it yet? You ain't get the airport. He promised a magnificent facility about Pickering. You got it yet? So the man will keep his word. He promised you houses and roads. You, you got any of them yet? The big pothole of Broomfield, that got fixed yet? You, I mean, you got a member of parliament who is now a cabinet minister. Are you telling me that he can't get anything done for you? So, so how are you going to vote when elections are called? You're going to vote for Peter Phillips? You got to get rid of people who make foolish promises, who promise you all kinds of things, and then can't deliver them. Somebody told me, you know, I don't talk this kind of way, but somebody told me that in a pack of jokers, Kelman is the biggest joker. Somebody told me so. That is not original from me. But somebody told me, and when they told me, they sound very convinced of what they were saying. Oh, he admitted it. But Dennis Kelman has masqueraded as your representative for over 20 years. And ladies and gentlemen, I agree with you that there is nothing for St. Lucy to show for his leadership. And I feel I can talk about leadership because in St. Peter, we are accustomed to good leadership. In Barbados Labour Party, we are accustomed to good leadership. But you have Somebody, Mr. Kelman, I want to be very respectful, who gives the impression that he is giving some kind of leadership to St. Lucie. But all of St. Lucie, 
recognizes that nothing has improved. As a matter of fact, the roads have gotten worse. Transportation has gotten worse. The employment situation has gotten worse. Everything has gotten worse under, but I almost said the representation, but under the occupation of Dennis Kelman. It seems to me that Dennis Kelman is only interested in selling food by the pound down in Moon Town. You've stuck with him, nothing has happened. I, I, you know, Dennis Kelman is, he has confessed to being a failure. He has confessed because he has said to us, and he said to you, that he wanted to be elected so that he can get the airport, so that he can get Pickering going, so that he can improve the roads, so that he can get houses built. And after over 20 years, after more than eight years as a, a cabinet member, a minister of the crown, he has not been able to deliver anything that he has promised. Dennis Kelman has failed the people of St. Lucie. And you have to get rid of him. But what does Kelman do? Spend all his, well, the time that he doesn't spend at Moon Town, he spends on Facebook. And you know, at a time when people in St. Lucie, as well as people in St. Peter, at a time when people are suffering because they can't get water, water to drink, water to bathe, water to give their, their, their animals, at a time when people can't get water to clean their homes, Dennis Kelman goes on Facebook, says that water is flowing through his taps. He is drinking his fourth glass of water. I was having breakfast and I realized that when he was watching it, he was actually half naked. I almost choked on my vomit. But that is the kind of person who you have representing you. And I want to tell you that as a Minister of Housing, if Dennis Kelman's head was an apartment, he would have to rent it out as unfurnished. There is nothing at all in it. And I'm not saying so because I don't like him. I am saying so because the evidence shows that there is nothing in it. Nothing at all. You, the people of St. Lucie, need at this time more than ever to elect a representative who has something between their ears, who can contribute to the development of St. Lucie and the development of Barbados. While Kelman is selling food, Peter Phillips is out donating and delivering food to the needy people in St. Lucie. You want a representative who cares about people. You want a representative who loves people. You want a representative who wants to see people develop and grow. You want a representative like Peter Phillips. And I'm asking you to vote for him and to support him as he embarks, as he continues this journey to represent this great northern parish in Barbados. I have to confess to you that there is one thing I do not like about Peter Phillips. And I don't want to say it too hard, but every year I go to the, you know, there's the Parish Independence Committee and the Parish Independence Celebrations. And every year I go to the Spirit of the Nation show. And I have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen of St. Lucie, the thing that I really don't like about Peter Phillips is that when he is at that show, he gets on as though there's only one parish in Barbados, as though St. Lucy is the only parish. I have already told him I don't like him for that. I do not like that. But that is the kind of man who you have 
seeking to serve you. The man who you have seeking to serve you, St. Lucy, is a man who believes that St. Lucy is the only parish in Barbados. A man who loves St. Peter, St. Lucy with all of his heart. A man who wants to see St. Lucy succeed. Who wants to see St. Lucy develop. A man who, is, who, who remembers. He remembers, and he keeps telling me, that the last time St. Lucy was in development mode was when Roy Brathwick of the Barbados Labour Party was representing this constituency. That was the last time you had decent representation. Peter Phillips wants to bring that representation back. But tonight, I want to talk to you a little bit about leadership. I think we have established that Kelman really masquerades as a leader, but he is, he is not really a leader. But you know, just a few couple years ago, I was talking about water earlier. In St. Peter, the people in Boscobel, the people in Indian Ground and Four Hill, could not get water through their taps. We spoke to the Barbados Water Authority. We spoke to the minister. None of them would take the lead in allowing the people of St. Peter, the people of St. Lucie, to get something as necessary as water. No leadership. They would not come to talk to the people. They would not give any explanations. They failed as leaders. They failed. They were, you know, you know who took the lead in that water issue? After we realized that the Dems and the government was failing in its duty, failing in its responsibility to provide something as necessary as water for the people of the north of Barbados, we in the Barbados Labor Party, we took the lead. We started to call for water, for distribution of water to the people of the north. And you know what? After that, the minister for the first time spoke. I know what he said. He started to curse us, to abuse us, simply because we asked for water. For water. You know what that reminded me of? Some of the worst people in the Bible. Some of you will remember the story of Jesus on the cross. You know there's a time before Jesus died when he said, I'm thirsty, I want some water. Those vagabonds gave him vinegar. Would not give him water. This Democratic Labour Party, of which Dennis Kelman is a part, reminds me of those vagabonds in the Bible. People want water, and they refuse to give people water. Lacking in leadership, lacking in love, lacking in compassion, lacking in decency, lacking in care for the ordinary people of St. Lucy, St. Peter, St. Thomas, St. Joseph, all over Barbados. But I'm going to tell you what really annoyed me about that situation. We in St. Peter, we know that the Dems don't like us. That is a given. They, they never liked St. Peter. But I would have thought that at a time when St. Lucy, that was in the old days, when St. Lucy was considered a Democratic Labour Party stronghold, I would have thought that the Dems would at least have given water to the people in St. Lucy. But when the Dems refused to give even the people in St. Lucy water, I know that they are almost criminal. 
They do not care about people. They do not love you. And you have to vote for somebody who loves you. Somebody who cares about you. Somebody who wants to see you succeed. Rather than having running water in your taps, the leadership, but I, I, I really shouldn't call it leadership. The bankruptcy at the head of the Democratic Labour Party have gone from refusing to give people running water and have now presided over a situation where they are giving the people on the South Coast running sewage. No running water. They can't give you anything clean. They give you feces. When I was growing up, my mother never liked me to call some of these words. She said we should say number two. And the Dems have given you number two. The Barbados Labour Party, under the leadership of Mayor Amor Motley, told the Dems nearly two years ago, that the sewage system had problems, that it needed to be fixed. But what kind of leadership did the Democratic Labour Party give to this country? They ignored sensible advice. And rather than deal with the issue, we have a lead, well, a prime minister, not a leader, we have a prime minister, rather than deal with a serious situation, he walks about saying that he does not want to go out with Mia Motley. But Mia does not want to go out with him either. Mia likes to talk. And Mia wants to go out with a person who can converse, who can talk. The prime minister does not fit that bill. He does not fit that bill. Ladies and gentlemen, of St. Lucie, I came from next door with a simple message. The light is on, the light is flashing. They tell me at horse racing, when the light starts to flash, it means it's time to start. <laughs> By not talking about the Prime Minister, some years ago, I had to attempt to wake him up. I was leading the Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association, and we try to say to the Prime Minister, we have issues that need to be dealt with. Couldn't get an answer. Couldn't get an answer. And I want to say to you that the Barbados Labour Party, of which I am a part, is a party that is prepared to call out even the Prime Minister, if the Prime Minister is not acting like a Prime Minister should. Mia Motley is the kind of leader who can rescue and rebuild Barbados working with the Barbados Labour Party. Mia Motley cannot do it alone. She wants people like Peter Phillips to be part of that team. She wants you to do what is right when the elections are called and vote for Peter Ricardo Phillips to be your next representative. Peter Phillips will change St. Lucie. The Barbados Labour Party will change Barbados. We will rescue, we will rebuild. I am asking you to vote for somebody who loves you. Vote for somebody who has compassion. Vote for somebody who has common sense. Vote for somebody who wants to assist in the move to rescue, rebuild Barbados. Vote for the Barbados Labour Party. Vote for Peter Phillips. Vote for me and more Motley when that day comes. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. God bless all of you in St. Lucie.